Now, today, we're actually starting a brand new series um, called Discipleship. Um, I actually need that mic down there as well. And, um, and Discipleship is starting off, and John's going to come and uh, preach the Word of God uh, today, which is really, really cool. Um, but along with that, is just wanting to really bring up Ray just to share um, a bit, because Ray has been um, quite impactful in, in my life. Um, and I think when it comes to discipleship, I think when it comes to even the Word of God, in Matthew 28, um, actually when Jesus rose from the dead and, and, he, and he told his disciples to, to go into all the world and make disciples. And um, I think there's something to be said of not only wanting to grow up um, in, in Jesus and to be more like him, but to, I think to walk alongside people as well as you walk in your own, in your own faith as well. Um, now, I've known you, Ray, for quite a number of years. Uh, well, you've known me for quite a number of years. You've been here much longer than I have <laughs> in that sense. Um, and I know that there's been seasons where, uh, well, I think in the beginning, like I think most people, we kind of come to church and we kind of, we say hello, how was your week, busy, oh yeah, great, you know, and it's usually the same sort of thing. But I think it's not until you really be more intentional to find the relationships that is going to help you to walk alongside them in your walk with God as well. Um, and Ray is, Ray, Ray is awesome. If, I don't know about you, but Ray is, is awesome. Um, yeah, I think that's, I think that's so worth a clap. Um, and, you know, Ray and Jill, I think we all would say, are, are mothers and fathers of the faith. Um, and I know that I needed some, um, some help, some people to be alongside me. And I asked Ray to kind of, uh, I suppose, be a... Be a I don't want to label it, but like a mentor or someone who could just be with me and for me, listen to all of my stuff, um, but to also know that there's someone who's praying for me um, as well. And so, okay, I'm going to be quiet now just for a minute. So, <laughs> but I'm going to ask just Ray a couple of questions just around that in the sense of why, um, really, why is, is helping someone else in their walk with God like really important to you? Well, um, I've been a Christian for 67 years, um, and um, during that time I've been involved in church activity, if you can, in the broad sense, um, for 60 of those years, I guess, or uh, two or three more. Um, I had a spell in church leadership for about 30 years, um, and um, I've been married to my lovely Jill for 54 years this year. So, um, in other words, I've been round the block a few times. <clears throat> and um, I don't think God allowed all that into my life for me just to sit at home on the settee and do nothing with it. And uh, so it's been important, I think, to try and share some of that experience, not in a preaching way, uh, since I've been disabled, I can't do that anymore, but um, to um, really on a one-to-one -one basis uh, be able to share that. Fantastic. And, and I think the one thing was great when we did do our one-to-ones, it was always over coffee, always over food, because the stuff food, food is the best food. Food was fantastic. Way to do it. It is, <laughs> um, and, uh, but I think, you've said it, Ray, I think having yourself who has uh, been walking with Jesus for such a long time, um, I know there's, there was seasons, and still is, um, there was a few years ago where we started meeting up, I think, more frequently, um, because I think there's loads of wisdom and loads of um, just knowledge and lo loads of just, I think, you, you, like you said, you've been around the body, you, you, you've been with Jesus, and I, I kind of want to grab hold of something. You must know something that I don't know in that sense. Um, and, and I want to have someone who could pray for me uh, or someone who I know that if I could just, if I could call you, I know that Ray was going to answer. I know that Ray was going to be there for me um, and available. And, and I think it's so important to kind of connect with these sorts of people. Um, and maybe it's a challenge out there for other people, isn't it? In a sense of who, who do you connect with? Um, who are you uh, wanting to, to sow into or, or can be sowed into as well? Um, because not only what, just your, your knowledge and experience that you kind of shared with me, um, that we, we, we prayed, you, you preached. You, you did preach, you know, 
that sense to, to me, you know, and, and, you, and you preached the word and it was, and it was great. And I think it's such a help. Um, so what would you say, I suppose, to people in the congregation who maybe don't have that? What would you encourage people to get someone in their life to, to walk alongside them? Yeah, so we're all different. Um, I've expressed a little bit about my long life, but some of you haven't got such a long life, or perhaps you're newly Christians. Um, and I think it's great if we take what we have and make it available. That, that's the secret. We all have something. Um, I'm not a sportsman. I never was, other than a bit of swimming. Um, uh, but I'd, So I don't know anything about football or anything like that. So I can't use that as a means to befriend somebody. But if you have something that you know would be a point of contact with somebody, then that's what you need to use and, uh, and make that relationship. Uh, now, if nobody approaches you, <laughs> you try and approach somebody else and try and ask for, like um, James did in some way, he asked me. I didn't go and say, James, I need to have a talk to you. It wasn't like that at all. James approached me, you uh, make sure that you approach somebody else. Uh, not me. Uh, I can't cope with 500, I'm afraid. Um, <clears throat> but um, uh, approach somebody that you feel that you can relate to. And, and that's important. Then build that relationship. Now, if you're the one building the relationship with somebody else, the most important thing is to make it a genuine relationship. Now, when I was talking with, uh, when we, I was meeting with James, probably the most important thing that I did, apart from enjoying the food and the coffee, was to listen. I shut up. Uh, and uh, God's given me an ability to shut up. And, and, but to open these. And, and that's, I think, those are the things that I think all of us can do. Yeah, great. I think everyone can play a part in that. And I think there's so many um, mothers and fathers of the faith in this room who I think might have the time like you do. Um, and I think it's uh, some of our younger people in that sense, or older, doesn't, you know, to find and be, have enough courage to go and find someone who can also uh, do that as well. But I think walking along makes do. The, the Bible says don't, um, we, we, we don't do life alone, do we? Uh, and so finding someone you can walk alongside uh, is such an important yeah. thing. So yeah. thank you, Ray. Let's thank Ray for his time.